Politics of Georgia, country. Politics in Georgia involve a semi-presidential representative Democratic Republic with a multi-party system. The President of Georgia is the head of state and the Prime Minister of Georgia is the head of government. The President and the government wield executive power. Legislative power is vested in both the government and the unicameral parliament of Georgia. After the Rose Revolution of 2003, the national movement, Democrats dominated the party system. Georgia became a democratic republic following the first multi-party, democratic parliamentary elections of October 28, 1990. The Georgian state is highly centralized, except for the autonomous regions of Abkhazia and Ajara and the former autonomous region of South Ossetia. Abkhazia and South Ossetia, which had autonomy within the Georgian SSR during Soviet rule, unilaterally seceded from Georgia in the 1990s. While, the Georgian government recognizes Abkhazia as autonomous within Georgia, it does not recognize South Ossetia as having any special status. Consideration of replacing Georgia's republic with some form of constitutional monarchy has become part of Georgian political debate since the Georgian Orthodox primate and other leading Georgians suggested the idea in 2007. Following a crisis involving allegations of ballot fraud in the 2003 parliamentary elections, Edward Shevardnadze resigned as president on November 23, 2003, in the Bloodless Rose Revolution. The interim president was the speaker of the outgoing parliament whose replacement was annulled, Nino Baranaje. On January 4, 2004 Mihail Saakashvili, leader of the United National Movement won the country's presidential election and was inaugurated on January 25. Fresh parliamentary elections were held on March 28, 2004, where the United National Movement's parliamentary faction, the National Movement, Democrats NMD, secured the vast majority of the seats, with ca. 75% of the votes. Only one other party reached the 7% threshold, the rightist opposition with CA. 7.5%. The vote is believed to have been one of the freest ever held in independent Georgia although an upsurge of tension between the central government and the Ajarian leader Aslan Abashidze affected the elections in this region. Despite recognizing progress the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe noted the tendency to misuse state administration resources in favor of the ruling party. Tensions between Georgia and separatist authorities in Ajaria increased after the elections, climaxing on May 1, 2004 when Abashidze responded to military maneuvers held by Georgia near the region by having the three bridges connecting Ajaria and the rest of Georgia over the Kaliki River blown up. On May 5, Abashidze was forced to flee Georgia as mass demonstrations in Batumi called for his resignation and Russia increased their pressure by deploying Security Council Secretary Igor Ivanov. On February 3, 2005, Prime Minister Zurochvania died of carbon monoxide poisoning in an apparent gas leak at the home of Raul Usipov, Deputy Governor of Kvamokartli region. Later, Zhvania's close friend and a longtime ally, Finance Minister Zurab Nagadali was appointed for the post by President Saakashvili. Under the Saakashvili administration Georgia has achieved considerable progress in eradicating corruption. In 2008 Transparency International ranked Georgia 67th in its Corruption Perceptions Index, with a score of 3.9 points out of 10 possible. This represents the best result among the CIS countries and a dramatic improvement on Georgia's score in 2004, when the country was ranked 133rd with 2.0 points. Georgia also strengthened fight against the thieves in law. In December 2005 Georgian Criminal Code was reorganized to charge the criminal authorities with aggravating circumstances. Abuses of human rights were revealed in Georgian prisons after the 2012 Kaldani prison scandal as prisoners had been permanently tortured and beaten by the penal servants. The further investigation revealed the head of penitentiary department of Ministry of Justice of Georgia Bakana Akala was the one who had been managing the process of torturing the prisoners. In June 2004 the prominent Georgian tycoon Kaha Bendu Kids was called by the President Mihail Saakashvili to hold position of Minister of Economy. Kaha Bendu Kids was known as a committed right-wing libertarian, who supported the laissez-faire, deregulation of market and low taxes. Under his terms of ministerial office the thoroughgoing reformation was onset. The taxes were harshly lowered and privatization was restarted. As a result Georgia became one of the most favorable country in the world to start investing in. It resulted in the high growth of GDP nevertheless, economic growth was not able to fully settle the problems of unemployment and one-fourth of nation living under the poverty rate. In January 2006 a new party, Georgia's Way, was created. 
The movement is led by former Foreign Minister Salome Zerbichvili, and appears to be relatively popular. An opinion poll conducted by the Georgian weekly Virus Politra and published on April 10, 2006 suggested that Salome Zerbichvili would garner 23.1% of votes if a presidential election were held today. President Saakashvili ranked first with 33%, an all-time low for the Georgian president, whilst neither individual managed to surpass double-digit levels of support. Georgia's Way has said it intends to have candidates for all the seats in Georgia's upcoming local elections, with Zerbichvili hoping to become Tbilisi mayor. On November 7, 2007, during a period of mass protests, President Saakashvili declared Tbilisi to be in a state of emergency. There were massive demonstrations and protests by the civil opposition, demanding the resignation of President Saakashvili. The Georgian police used tear gas batons, water cannons and high-tech acoustic weapons in the streets of Tbilisi. Later that day, the president declared a state of emergency in the whole country of Georgia. The Russian government denied accusations of being involved or of interfering in the situation. President Saakashvili rejected all demands that he resign his position, but announced early presidential elections to be held in January 2008, effectively cutting his term in office by a year. On November 16, 2007, Prime Minister of Georgia Zirab No Adeli announced his resignation due to poor health conditions. No Adeli underwent heart operation in April 2007 at St. Luke's Episcopal Hospital in Houston, Texas, which was led by the leading U.S. surgeon Dr. Charles Frazier. President Saakashvili invited Vladimir Lado, Gurjanides, MBA holder from Emory University, United States, and former business executive, to succeed No Adeli on the position of the PM on the same day. Gurjanides was formally approved on the position and granted the trust of the Parliament of Georgia on November 22, 2007. Gurjanides implemented only two changes in the cabinet of Georgia so far, replacing Alexander Lomaya, the former Minister for Education and Science and new Secretary of National Security Council with Maya Mimi Noshvili, former head of the National Assessment and Examination Center, NAEC. Prime Minister also invited Kobis Abeliani former head of Municipal Accomplishments Service to succeed Georgi Kibiashvili, former Minister for Refugees and Accommodation. New Prime Minister and two ministers Kobus Abeliani and Maya Miminoshvili were approved on their positions in November 22, 2007 by a confidence vote of the Parliament of Georgia. Mihail Saakashvili resigned from the position of the President on November 25, 2007 as the Constitution of Georgia requires the President stands down ATL East 45 days before the next election to be eligible for retaking part him slash herself. The Speaker of the Parliament of Georgia Mrs. Nino Baranaje took over the position until the results were announced on January 5, 2008. 22 people registered for the presidential elections, including the most recent President Mihail Saakashvili, approved candidate of the United Opposition Levon Gachekilache, influential businessman Badri Pater Katsishvili, leader of the New Right Party David Gamper Lids, the leader of the Georgian Labour Party Shalvan Adlashvili, the leader of Hope Party Irina Sarishvili Chanturia and Georgi Mazashvili. Debate on the possible installation of a constitutional monarchy in Georgia was revitalized following the October 7, 2007 sermon of Catholicos Patriarch Ilya II, the popular head of the Georgian Orthodox Church. The Patriarch said, during his Sunday service at the Cathedral of the Holy Trinity, that restoration of the Bragrashny royal family was a desirable dream of the Georgian people. He also emphasized that if the people of Georgia chose this model of governance, a candidate to the crown should be selected among representatives of the royal dynasty, and he should be suitably raised to be king from childhood. Competition arose among the old dynasty's princes and supporters, as historians and jurists debated which Bagradioni has the strongest hereditary right to a throne that has been vacant for two centuries. Although some Georgian monarchists support the Gruzinski branch's claim, others support that of the repatriated Mukrani branch. Both branches descend in unbroken, Legitimate male line from the medieval kings of Georgia down to Constantine II of Georgia who died Dean 1505. David Bogartzion of Mukrani, married Anna Bogartzion Grusinski on February 8, 2009 at the Tbilisi Samiba Cathedral. The marriage united the Grusinski and Mukrani branches of the former Georgian royal family, and drew a crowd of 3,000 spectators, officials, and foreign diplomats, as well as extensive coverage by the Georgian media. After the Rose Revolution Georgia started looking westwards. The government aims at EU and NATO membership, 
and has created a Ministry for European non Euro Atlantic Integration, which was dissolved on December 22, 2017, after passing constitutional amendments by Georgian Parliament. Within NATO, Georgia is currently in intensified dialogue, membership in the EU is a more distant project. On January 5, 2008 alongside Georgian presidential elections was held non-binding referendum on joining NATO. 77% of total number of voters supported integration of Georgia into NATO. The Abkhaz separatist dispute absorbs much of the government's attention. While a ceasefire is in effect about 250,000 internally displaced persons, IDPs who were driven from their homes during the conflict, constitute a vocal lobby. The government has offered the region considerable autonomy to encourage a settlement that would allow the IDPs, mainly ethnic Georgians from the Gali district, to return home, however the Abkhaz side refused to accept it. Currently, Russian peacekeepers are stationed in Abkhazia under the authority of the Commonwealth of Independent States, along with United Nations observers but both groups have recently had to restrict their activities due to increased mining and guerrilla. So far, by 2007. The negotiations have not resulted in any settlement. France, United Kingdom, Germany, Russia and the United States, who act as the members of the United Nations and the AS, continue to encourage a comprehensive settlement consistent with Georgian independence, sovereignty, and territorial integrity. The UN Observer Force and other organizations are quietly encouraging grassroots cooperative and confidence-building measures in the region. The parliament has instituted wide-ranging political reforms supportive of higher human rights standards, because between 1992 and 2003, before the Rose Revolution of November 23, 2003, the Georgian human rights situation had been complicated. Despite the reforms by the new government, there are still numerous problems concerning respect for human rights in the country. Prisoners are frequently maltreated, journalists are intimidated by the authorities and much of the mainstream media is owned by government supporters. The police are often accused of planting evidence, beatings and the unnecessary killing of suspects. The head of state is the president, who is elected for a term of five years. His constitutional successor is the chairman of the parliament speaker of parliament. The president appoints a prime minister, who serves as the head of government. The parliament of Georgia. Sakart Bailos Parliamenti, has 150 members, elected for a four-year term, 77 seats by proportional representation, 73 in single-seat constituencies. Current Speaker of Parliament is Erikli Kobakids. Georgia has a Supreme Court, with judges elected by the Parliament on the President's recommendation, and a constitutional court. Georgia is divided into two autonomous republics, of Tanamori Respublika, Nine Region, Ankare and a capital territory. The regions and autonomous republics are subdivided into 67 municipalities, Georgian, before 2006, Rayoni, Georgian, and cities with local government. Sec, Council of Europe, EIC, EBRD, EKI, FEL, Guam, IAEA, IBRD, ICAO, International Chamber of Commerce, International Criminal Court, ICC, ITUC, IDA, IFAD, IFC, IFRIX, ELO, IMF, International Maritime Organization, INMARSAT, Interpol, IOC, IAM, ISO, Correspondent, E2, OISH, Observer, OPCW, S, PFP, United Nations, UNCTAD, UNESCO, UNIDO, APU, WCO, WHO, WIPO, WMO, WTO. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.